Thank God for actors accidentally revealing stuff. What's up everybody, my name is Tug and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. We seem to be doing a lot of these lately, which is, I mean, it's nice. We're finally getting some news here and there for the game. An update on the video I made the other day talking about Ed Boon, you know, maybe teasing at something on Twitter. Someone in the comments did put together that it was Chrissy Teigen, I think it was, who left Twitter 22 days before, announced it and everything else, and then came back, and that was the person who was using the GIF. So I wanted to update you guys on that and also thank the dude who said something about that. Uh, so thank you to him for actually updating everybody. So that might have been nothing, but today we definitely have something which is very very exciting and once again this comes from ink herbal herbal fgc apprehender 621 on twitter thank you so much for keeping me updated man uh a lot of this shit hasn't been popping up for me so thank you for keeping me updated uh anybody else who keeps me updated i will shout you out in the videos it's just an easier way for me to keep up with things without having to micromanage everything so i really appreciate everybody who sends me stuff and this is actually from the Mortal Kombat community at PlayMK11 on Twitter actually uh, screen capping this for everyone and talking about it, linking the Game Revolution interview that it was actually in. And this interview is from Macab Brooks, the guy who's playing Jack. So let's go ahead and throw it up on the screen and read through it. Macab Brooks, the mustachio Jax, had a different reaction and said that one of those steps to getting in the game was already done. Well, we've already been scanned, so the next step is being put in the game, said Brooks. I just hope the film does really well so this can uh, expand, and I can be at home yelling finish him while I'm playing with myself. Wait, that came out wrong. Am I going to be saying... I'm going to be at home saying finish him to myself. That also came out wrong. So, yeah, good, good sense of humor from the cat Brooks. But, this is probably the biggest piece of news we've had since the announcement of Combat Pack 2. Now, this is only still probably... Uh, you know, a skin pack, which could uh, come beside uh, a Combat Pack 2, or a Combat Pack 3, sorry. So, because Combat Pack 3 uh, realistically will drop with the skin pack. Combat Pack 2 dropped with the skin pack, Aftermath dropped with the skin pack, and Combat Pack 1, I'm pretty sure it had multiple skin packs to it. So, we're more than likely to actually get a skin pack with a Combat Pack. If it's only a skin pack, that's fine, well, and good. That'll bring me back to the game for a little bit at least. I'll play as, you know, some of these characters that I haven't really played as, like Jax and Sonya. Hopefully we get a skin for all the characters, and it's not just, like, three or four of them, because a lot of the skins from the movie actually do look really good. I think that uh, a Liu Kang movie skin and uh, a Kung Lao movie skin would actually really get get me playing the game again, you know, uh, because I really enjoy the, the designs from the movie that they have and the actors, you know, playing the characters. So that would be cool. But realistically, I think we've had this theory here on this channel for a while at least that Combat Pack 3 would drop alongside the movie very shortly after the movie or maybe even uh, just be announced with the movie's release day. Uh, and one of the theories was, the popular theory was that Cole Young would be a character in Combat Pack 3. And a lot of people are against that. A lot of people don't really think that's going to happen. Or, you know, they just don't want it to happen. I'm cool with it. I think that the movie should be promoted in the game, and the game should be promoted in the movie, which obviously you cannot, you can't not promote the movie, uh, you, you can't not promote the game in the movie, because the movie's based on the game. But I do think the the movie should be promoted in the game, because if they branch these two things, if they support each other, and build these two things up to where you got Mortal Kombat, uh, you know, a Mortal Kombat franchise in movies, and the Mortal Kombat franchise in video games, and we build Mortal Kombat up and up and up, and get more and more people in it, that not only does wonders for Mortal Kombat, and having those games made, and building up the production quality of those games, and the support for those games, but it also builds up the fighting game community, which means more good fighting games come out, and more people are playing fighting games, so these games last for longer, and uh, you have more people playing the older ones, so you can go back and play those. I think it's just an all-around good thing to support both. But the main thing here is, we know that we're at least getting a skin pack. Uh, a few skins, this is all thanks to McCab Brooks, which is cool. Hopefully he doesn't get in too much trouble for that, uh, because he let it slip before anybody else did, which is... You know, I, I'm I'm 
happy about it. I hope he doesn't get in trouble, but we need some fucking news. Uh, but we know now that we're at least getting some skins in Mortal Kombat 11, which is great. And I could be wrong. This could still be wrong, and these skins could not be coming until Mortal Kombat 12, and they just went ahead and scanned them, which I don't see why they would have, you know, did that, or they could be coming in Injustice 3 or whatever else, but again, I don't see all the characters in Injustice 3, so what makes sense is Mortal Kombat 11. That's what makes sense. Whether we're still getting a Combat Pack 3 or not is still up in the air. This does not confirm a Combat Pack 3. Uh, the only character that they couldn't, like, scan and just throw in the game on a character is Cole Young. So they could do, like, a one more character type thing, kind of like what they do with their pre-order DLC with, like, uh, Shao Kahn and MK11 and Goro and MKX, where they just, you know, throw the character in, pay seven bucks, get this extra character in the game. That would even out the character select screen a little bit. They could change it around a little bit to make it look a little better. Um, and, and, you know, that would make sense as well. And I'd actually be fine with that. Do one more character to end off the game. One more character. It's Cole Young from the movie. Here he is. There you go. Have fun. Uh, it'd be nice to get an Atara too. But if it's only Cole Young and then they make it clear that the game is over and done, get ready for the next one. We'll be announcing it later this year because that realistically would be what happened. I'm cool with that. And we get a skin pack along with it. That'd be awesome. So, uh, really, all you can do in a situation like this, and I, I say this in pretty much all my Mortal Kombat speculation videos and news videos, all you can really do is sit back and wait. Mortal Kombat 11, uh, NRS, especially with Mortal Kombat 11, have been terrible at communication uh, with the community. And this was, uh, a lot of people have been using the COOF as, you know, an excuse for their poor communication, but that's not even the case. The poor communication goes back before the COOF was even a thing in 2019, uh, leading into 2020, before it actually kicked off and started spreading. Uh, so they they were horrible at the, about their communication with Combat Pack 1. So there's no excuse there. They've been horrible at, about communication. So the only thing we can really do is sit back, wait, and see. Hopefully we get some news when the movie comes out that is in four days uh, so I'm excited for that. I'll be doing a review on that, but we'll find out then. But I do want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. What do you think they're doing? Do you think it's just a skin pack? Do you think it could be a skin pack and throwing Cole Young into the game, kind of like what they do with the pre-order DLC, seven bucks for the character, there you go, game over. Or do you think it's going to be a skin pack coming with a combat pack three? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and which one would you rather have? Uh, again, thank God for actors accidentally saying stuff thank god for it because if not we wouldn't have known a fucking thing about mortal kombat 11 and we're getting close if not at six months i think we hit six months or we might just have hit seven months so yeah let me know what you guys think and which one you would want the most in the comments down below that is going to do it for me but first don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video it helps out the channel a lot we're getting really close to 10k subscribers so if you guys don't care to smash the hell out of that subscribe button and also like the video so it shows it off to a few more people i'd really appreciate it but thank you guys so much for watching my name is Tootin. i've been your host and i will see you guys on the next video peace out